you know, I have to start with the fact that mixtape is such a sweet, often funny story. I love the fact that it weaves through this music. Gemma, for you, what was the best part of making it? Um, I'm going to have to say I loved being able to play Beverly. I love her. She's so fun. I loved how fun the movie was and all of the great music that I got to listen to because I'm used to like the R&B and this whole punk rock was a whole new world for me, just like it was for Beverly. And also the environment on set was so amazing. Our amazing director, Valerie. I love you, Val. Julie and the girls and our director of photography and all of our cameramen and just everyone was so great. And that makes such a huge difference. It's just a bunch of nice people makes the whole vibe different. And that made it very, very enjoyable. Julie, how did you relate to this story? Because it's such a it's such a sweet take on loss and everything else. Um. Well, I think everybody has experienced loss in some form in their life. And uh, I know I certainly have. Um, uh, and it's not something that people want to necessarily dwell on, but it's an important touchstone. And it's it's a it's a, a point of communality I think a lot of us have. And uh, I liked the way this movie dealt with it, that there's this girl who's curious and she wants to know more and she's bubbling, she's full of life. And she's reached an age where her grandmother who's raising her essentially as her mother can't keep that down anymore. Um, we do talk to each other differently about grief. And we all talk about the, the difficult things in life uh, from, from we meet the person where we are, not where they are all the time. And sometimes you got to step out on the field. And I think that that's a lot of what this movie is about, is about being uh, making yourself uncomfortable, but letting go of the past. Hmm. I love your relationship. You both do such a wonderful job of bringing these characters together. Uh, Gemma, for you, what's it like working with Julie? <laughs> oh boy you know, it was, you know no julie is the best first movie partner i could have asked for she especially in all of the um you know harder scenes very emotional pretty sad she never failed to make anybody laugh and she was always just like a bright light and brought so much laughter and joy and some TikToks. We learned some TikTok dances together. And her adorable dog, Gertie, comes with a package. I miss Gertie so much. And um, it was amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better, very young grandma. Well, Julie, what about you? What's it like working with Gemma? I have had uh, the pleasure of 11 years on Modern Family working with younger actors and watching them grow up. And I love it. I, and I loved it jumping in again with, with Gemma. Um, the, the big question with kid actors is how are they going to hold up in tougher scenes? And she was great. She was so great. And she gave me so much. And with kid actors, they come with parents, um, which is like a whole package. You don't get, the kid does not arrive alone. And I love the whole, the whole Alan situation. Strong. Gemma, for you, did you have a favorite song from the mixtape? Because, I mean, it is it is a pretty intense playlist, really, even today. So what was your favorite? Oh, boy. I love all of the songs so much. Like, um, Teacher's Pet is definitely fave and Getting Nowhere Fast by Girls at Her Best. And I really love the wrong song. It's probably not one that I would listen to very often, but I think it's so special and they did such a good job with it it's written so well and just the the sentimental value it has and how much it meant to beverly i remember the first time i heard it in the first table read i was just like bawling in tears i couldn't even keep it together because it just what it meant to bev was so sweet and it's such a beautiful song really that's awesome julie for you listening to this music again i'm sure you you've heard it in the past what's it like experiencing it through the lens of this film. And do you have a favorite from the playlist? I absolutely have a favorite. I love Dancing in the Moonlight. I love the original. I remember exactly where I was um, when it was first in sort of rotation in 99 and I was on the set of Ed and literally dancing at two o'clock in the morning in water because we were playing a scene about a flood. And it was so joyful then. And then to have it redone and covered by the girls in the movie um, in mixtape was, I thought, well, they're not, you know, it's, it's never going to be the same. And I was so overwhelmed. And so it was such a joyous take and it made me feel the same joy all over again. I just loved that. 
It's fantastic. It's it's great listening to the mixtape now. Like I was listening to it on Spotify. It's just it brings back so many emotions for me. But now I experience it again a different way from this film. So mm-hmm. thank you both very much for the time. It's it's really a pleasure chatting. It's it's a great film. Thank you. Thank you so much, and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. 